Hello everyone and welcome to Pharmacy with Reem. Um, thank you so much for all your comments and your emails. I do apologize for not being very responsive over the last two years. Um, I have been really busy with my residency and um, now I have a little bit of time so I'll be able to um, make this video and um, really answer some of your questions. Um, so I did get a lot of emails and I saw there was a lot of comments on my channel um, So I thought it would be better just to make a video and answer some of these questions um, That way everybody can benefit from the answers So just before I dive into um, um, Dive into those questions. I just want to make something very clear um, is that when you have an immigration question or um, something about your visa or how to immigrate to Canada and all those things, which I cannot answer because I am not a, uh, I'm not a lawyer um, and I do not have knowledge of the most updated and accurate information. And um, your situation could be um, unique in its way. So I would recommend that you reach out to a lawyer uh, or somebody with legal knowledge just to get the most accurate and updated information. All right, so let's just dive right in. So the first and most common, and I have received this question many, many times, which is how much time and um, how much time and money would I need to become a, a licensed pharmacist in Canada? So there is actually a cool online calculator that you can obtain, and it's um, pharmacistgatewaycanada.ca, um, and you'll be able to uh, plug in. Um, the province, you can choose the province that you want to go to and then you just um, uh, update some of the information that they require you to input and then it will give you an estimated time and cost for the, for the licensure process. So I will take British Columbia as an example. So British Columbia does require a bridging program so you need to take into consideration that it might, um, the duration of that bridging program is six months. Now the cost of the bridging program is $11,750 plus um, a $1,000 fee and then there is um, a, a $250 uh, fee as well. So it would sum up to be uh, about um, $13,000 total. And then you have the PBC document evaluation, which requires um, two months um, approximately and 675 um, Canadian dollars. There's also the evaluating exam, which assuming that you will pass that test on the first attempt, that takes about four months uh, and it costs about $860. Now, if you pass the evaluating exam, there are the two other exams, which is the qualifying exam, MCQ and OSCE. Those, if you were to pass those on the first attempt, this would take four months, um, four months or four and a half months, and it can, um, it cost about $2,620. Now, there is also um, a pharmacy regulatory authority, which is the, um, BC pharmacist, I believe. Um, there's additional, there are additional fees that they require. So there's a pre-registration fees that you have to submit. And um, there's also additional fees for licensure. And then not to mention the jurisprudence test. So that would add up all to about $18,870. And it can take up to 22 and a half months. So that is almost two years. So when you're thinking if you should pursue this step is that you need to take into consideration the time and the money it will take. Um, also, the, in the calculator, it does not mention or it does not take into consideration um, the English language test or um, the French language test if you're going to Quebec. That is um, the TOEFL. It can take about 200, uh, sorry, $180. Um, the cost to complete a test, and this is assuming that you will obtain the correct score on the first attempt, and then IELTS, um, IELTS exam takes from $215 to 240 US dollars. The other cost that was not taken into consideration uh, using this online calculator is that the ECA report, and this ECA report that you need um, to um, 
for immigration purposes and that costs about hundred dollars and if um, there's a mandatory uh, fee for gateway enrollment and when this gateway enrollment is required for all international pharmacy graduates who are um, considering obtaining a pharmacy license in Canada and that cost about 340 US dollars um, so as you can see the cost can be substantial and um, you really need to uh, keep that in mind when trying to um, when trying to obtain the pharmacy license in Canada and um, also, you might think you might consider going to another state or sorry, another province that does not require that bridging program, such as Ontario. So um, from what I read is that Ontario does not require uh, you to complete the bridging program if you were to pass the qualifying exams on the first attempt. So, like I said, um, you can, I'll just put the links below um, to that online calculator and you feel free to go and check it out and then just make sure that you go to, um, you go to the um, PVC website just to look at the um, updated fee schedule and make sure that you have the most accurate um, schedules, um, schedule of fees. The good news is that for the, to pass that evaluating exam, um, and the qualifying exams, um, the PVC no longer no longer requires that um, applicants to take the exams in Canada. So right now um, they um, change their policy, and a lot of people can take it in their home country. I'll put the link below, and you can go check out the website. See if your country is on that list. That means you don't really have to take into consideration the cost of travel. Uh, back and forth from Canada just to take those exams so you can take them while you're in your home country before you move to Canada um, So this wraps up my video for now and um, thank you so much for watching and Let me know if anybody has additional tips feel free to share it with everyone so everybody can benefit and again, thank you so much for your um, comments and emails, and I'll, I'll try to make uh, more videos and address some of these questions. Um, so thank you for watching now, and then um, see you soon.